live from Minnesota, JW Solar USA. The time has come finally while well, we've been waiting for and uh, been dragging myself um, with a lot of work and uh, I don't complete what I started and I have to take a precaution. I'm taking the right measures right now to do exactly the right thing. So right here, what I'm talking about, we're going to replace our bus bars. These are the bus bars um, I'm going to be replacing for those bus bars and bus bars here, bus bars over there. And guys, this is what I'm going to do. I already made this, um, made a video about this. If you haven't seen this, go back and check on my bus bars, lithium battery bus bars, and you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So I have to complete the system step by step, upgrading it gra gradually so that I can able to get to where I supposed to be with a stable connection and very uh, uh, sturdy. The installation is all good and everything, reliable batteries, good system and dependable, running like a champ, nothing to complain at all. Wire management, huge wires, heavy duty, two gauge wires, four gauge wires, die hard battery, uh, battery cables you can see how big they are so i'm going to change those bus bars and replace them by using a pair of this a pair of that okay i'm going to use a pair of these over there and a pair of these to the other set of batteries here so by doing so i have enough um um battery bus bars that uh, gonna be having a proper connection and um, but I'm trying to figure out this ones on the side where I'm gonna put this because I have a project something else coming I need to fill up this gap here with another uh, a pair of batteries two or four or whatever so I need to see but two is the only one I can put right here so you already have two and two here and two here i need to put two more here and eliminate these batteries and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna eliminate the eg um, um the ford focus battery eight kilowatts is gonna go to these bus bars right here to be part of these 8.544 kilowatts power volkswagen e-golf sanyo and so they can be together with this as a 24 volt configuration. So if you watch my videos keenly or be, uh, carefully, you see my transition is swiftly and I'm very careful what I do because anything I change is changing for the better, is changing for the future. So I'm going installing things gradually and installing things systematically and really robust and nice and safe. So I'm going to do that by taking those boss bars out and replacing to these boss bars here. Stay tuned for that. Live and live from Minnesota, like and subscribe. JW Solo USA. This is my battery bank and it needs to be treated right. Stay tuned. As about to start my installation, I have to come back and consult my Sterling um, 123 pieces of ratchet and socket and all wrenches. And I got a console that this is my most friendly um, install kit. So there you go. That's my kit right here. I have all the tools I need. And uh, it's not that expensive, but um, I can do anything I want. I've been using this on certain uh, installation till I lost one of the sockets here or my, um, yeah, uh, socket thing from um, um, this. Uh, uh, Stevie B Rockstar is still on his battery rack. He fell into that uh, stem right there, and it's it, it, I can't reach it. It's all is there. Someday, somehow, I'm gonna get it back because I need that. That's one important tool here. I always use for uh, batteries and whatever exactly thing um, I'm supposed to be taking care of. I have to find a magnetic thing that can I can able to fish pull whatever it is to 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 fish it all the way from the metal all the way up i can get my socket back because i need that it's very important it's a universal that 
mostly um, um, work with all the install I've done. So I, that's my favorite socket right there. I want it back, but um, I'll see how it is. But let's go about and start the process. Well, before doing that, I shut down the system. Everything is down. We don't want any problem. We don't have any arcing. We don't have anything shorting that's going to blow up any of these um, expensive machines here that uh, I can't compromise that. I can't do that. So, guys, stay tuned. And remember, safety first. Anytime you do this thing, safety. Because lithium batteries, they are so powerful, a lot of energy, and they are dangerous. And it's going to cost your life. It's going to cost your loved ones and it's going to cause your property your asset or whatever investment and it's going to go kaput bye bye and that's the thing so that's why you have to shut down everything don't let things run and try things i know a lot of people already went through a lot of stuff like this i don't want to be a victim i'm always been an advocator for this and safety and all that kind of precaution and this is what i'm doing i gotta do the right thing shut everything down can't lose anything. Costs a lot of money for me to do all this. So thousands of dollars in here. All right. As we going to be dealing with the first, the negative. And what I decided to do. Uh, if you look at here, it has the grooves on it. Right here. So I'm going to use this side to have the bolt. You know, to sit on it. So it can be spinning round anymore take a look at this with one hand let's see how we're gonna tighten up this so by doing so it's gonna sit right on that thing it latches right there so you have like a lock nut or something so the thing can be spinning anymore when i'm about to tie it so i'm decided to do that and sit in between the grooves of these corners here so you see how it flushes there? So it's going to hold it from spinning. Instead of using another socket or ratchet, holding it, something, a grip, a vice grip, or whatever, tool to hold it. And so it can be like this. So I'm going to take this guy out. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to flip it over. And flip it is going to be the other way now. That's how I'm going to install it. Okay. That's how I'm going to install it. Um, I don't want this video to be long, but you guys sometimes have people that say, well, we don't want to just see the finished product. We want to see how everything get done. So this is how I'm going to have it this way. But I have to screw this one first. The stem, this one on the wall right there to hold this plate. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. All right, guys, I want to show you some developing stories here right now. Look at that. I already got all these legs going to be like this. Um, having all these guys going to be here. And all I have to do incorporate that with um, um, nuts. And which I have here. And just add them here. That's where... Each string is going to go. Each battery. That's going to be. That's where the terminals. Going to go. Okay. So stay tuned for that. Alright guys. You see now. I have the bolt and nuts on this. And so what I'm going to do. I'm going to screw this guy. On the wall. is It's going to be just like that. And this plate. This plate here. The bus bar is going to go like this after screwing this on the wall of the box and set this one right there and look at it it just it, it, it looks like the midnight uh, bus bar right if any of you guys already see the MN MN I think it's the MNBB the midnight bus bar that's how it looks like See that? So I'm not saying I'm I was copying. Uh, I just want to make something similar to that midnight bus bar. It's very expensive. I think it runs uh, approximately 50 to 60 bucks for the midnight one. So that's why I decided to create 
something like this to improvise this is like a bus bar exactly it's going to be mounted just like that on the wall and uh doing so it's going to hold into this that's i'm going to each uh bolt and nut here is going to um, get into a uh, battery string and the main stem here i'm going to put my inverter wire those that big one it's going to be right here at the center it's holding it so all the strings going to be tied into this anything that comes now so um these are uh stainless steel stainless steel uh bolt and nut so um these are beefy uh bus bar see how thick it is so i decided to improvise and make mine and this is what it is stay tuned like and subscribe jw solo usa all right guys so i'm gonna do this i'm trying to get you on camera i hope it's well focused for you guys and see exactly what i'm doing here so i already built one so keep doing this like i showed you earlier so it's gonna go on these grooves i don't want the video to be long but a lot of you guys want to see want to get be hands-on you want to see how the thing get done uh i got a recent um um comments from another subscriber was telling me i don't want to see things just get done i want to see uh how you do it hello well this is well welcome to the real world which um you can do a lot of stuff like this because of uh time consuming a lot of people don't want to watch your video some people do they don't care or well, some people they don't unless they watch it and see how useful it is so i already drive this one in, uh, in sorry and um flip this one over and uh people tend to be so impatient and they they just want things now and it takes time it takes a lot of um bandwidth because these videos we're shooting here is uh it's almost a 4k you gotta slice that down so that you get the thing to, for the video to work for you or else it's gonna take forever to upload it and uh, it takes a lot of bandwidth on the internet to do that especially if you don't have if you have a hotspot you don't have a landline so that takes a lot of bandwidth and YouTube's gonna slice it anyway because of um, the resolution and all the good stuff so I just want to um, be patient here a little bit with me. If you wait till all the way to the end, you learn something, you know, when you're patient, you learn a lot of stuff. You gain something. I, I, I'm, 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 I promise because this video is not going to be over. You learn something here. You might say, I know how to do this, but you might see something that uh, you've never seen before or how it's done. It's also, oh, you know what? I never thought about this before. So that's 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 um the thing about learning. You gotta be patient. You know, if you don't patient, no, forget it. You're not a good learner or listener or whatever. So we already got two sets of boss bars right here. Sorry for the reflection. And let me adjust uh the light in here. I hope you can see that. And uh some people just want a quick fix so i'm not that kind of person quick fix i'm not doing what video for one person i'm doing this for people who are ready to learn who are um, patient because i didn't just come overnight and uh, come up with this plan how to go about this it takes some time it takes some materials this is how i'm gonna do it well anyway guys stick take care and i'm gonna be installing this thing and you will see that on the next video as soon as i stay tuned for part two and um i know a lot of people are gonna go uh, impatient right now and i don't want that i want everybody to be energized to watch my videos and learn something out of them okay all right look at that really nice and really um just the like the m n b b midnight solar boss bar that's how it is. that's how it look like so guys this is what it is stay tuned
like and subscribe from JW Solar USA in Minnesota. These are how the bus bars look like. And this is what we're going to be utilizing soon. Okay. There you go. If you like it, give it a like, thumbs up, and share. Bye.